So let's have that conversation, guys. 15 days of division, controversy, the news outlets. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, he needs to get out of the race. Um, I'm scared. I'm nervous. Um, we love Joe Biden, but it was a lot going on, guys. And it probably still is. So let me just give this disclaimer and then I'm going to bid you guys. Going to say my say, my little speech for, the, for Friday. Upload the video and bid you guys good day. Everything happens for a reason. Every single thing happens for a reason. We might not know the reason that it happened during the time that it's happening, but normally somewhere within that time frame, we usually find out <laughs> what was the reason behind whatever happened that just did not make any sense. So let me just say this. We know it was a bad debate. It was a horrible debate. And I, there's a lot of angles that I could go in because I, I'm deep into politics, deep into politics. Um, I know a lot of people are not deep into politics like myself, but I am. I'm in the know. I stay in the know. It's just, that's just my jam, right? Um, Dems, my party. I have been more than disappointed in you. More than disappointed. This was this was a horrific 15 days. It was terrible. And let me tell you why. Before the 15 days, all year long, we've been seeing these off videos where Biden might have been standing somewhere um, and the Republicans on um, news outlet um, would capture it and upload it and say, oh, look, Biden's losing his mind. He was standing there talking to himself or just, just these off-camera things. And then you'll find out that he was literally talking to somebody and it looked like he was turned away from everybody else, but he talking to veterans or whatever the situation was. And then he's traveling to all these foreign countries, interacting, interacting with our, um, with our allies out here, um, making good relationships, rebuilding relationships and doing what a president does. Remember that doing what a president does out here, doing what a president does. He's cut student loans. He made good on promises. He has a black justice. He has, uh, I mean, a pretty large African-American presence in his cabinet. Um, he made good on his promises. We supported, corrected through different news outlets of what was really going on after they, um, after after Fox or whomever um, loaded up the 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 picture on the New York Times or somewhere showing where Biden was just standing off somewhere doing something weird, right? They would correct it on other on our news outlets. And then we have the debate, which was horrible. It was it was it was just you, you can't fix it. No matter how many times y'all ask, this question has been asked. 15 times a day for the last 15 days. And the answer that you received was tired, did a lot of traveling, and just basically had a cold and it was just an off night. Why can't that be the answer? Why are y'all beating this down so much? I'm going to tell you why. I, that That's not really a question that I'm asking. It's because deep down, 
some people believe those off videos. Some people um, felt like some of that stuff was true about Biden. And it very, mel very well may be where some stuff was going on. So let me just sw sway from that a little bit, and then I'm going to dig in and get up out of here. Okay. If I hear that Biden is old one more time, I'm just going to throw something at my TV screen. We know Biden is old. It was never a doubt in our mind that somebody who's been in Congress for over 50 years, longer than I've been alive, that he was old. He was older. And the problem that I have with this Biden is old is Biden being old or you referencing to someone being old like it's a curse. I heard one news commentator last night on, on MSNBC saying, well, you can't go back in time. You can't change nothing. Um, Father time is just going to keep doing what it does. Isn't that the point? <laughs> Don't you want to keep aging? Because there's only one option. It's two options. Either I'm going to keep getting older or time is going to stop, period. Let, let's just stop it with the Biden is old. It's not, it's not making voters happy when you keep elaborating on his age. It does not make us happy. We are not clueless. We know who we voted for. So when y'all say that half of America is worried about Biden being, thinks he's too old and things like that, it's a fact. We thought Biden was old four years ago. And of course, now he's four years older or three years older, whatever you want to look at. He's older than he was when we first knew that he was old. It ain't going to change. That's just what it is. It's a fact. Oh my God. He called Trump his um, vice president instead of Kamala. It, is the world going to end? I called my nephews one of the other one's name and they know who I'm talking about. They'll just answer. First of all, we knew it was, it, it, we can't do this. We cannot. Guys, it's, it's going to be a long four months. You cannot sit up and, and cherry pick through and go through every single thing this man says and make it a highlight reel. I heard somebody on MSNBC say that everybody's making it seem like it's not a big deal, but it is a big deal. No, it is not. He is human. He probably has Trump on his mind because that is his competitor right now. He slipped up and he accidentally said that Trump was his vice president. We all knew who he meant. It was not the end of the world. You guys that keep going over these mistakes, keep bringing up his mistakes, you guys are making it worse than what it is. It was the media who did this. The last 15 days has been about you guys. We know that Congress um, make all kinds of noises. We know they get upset. We know they don't all agree. They all are different-minded people that have one agenda, and that's to be Trump. Everybody has their own agenda on how they want to do it. Just like our president said last night when he got on the stand, I'm used to this. They always want somebody to sit down. What else are we talking about? I don't get reactionary over something. I got 15 year, 50 years in this. And like he said, what happens with age is wisdom. He ain't dumb. He's not a dummy. He is a very intelligent man. And the problem that I have with you guys are what, when you keep saying, we don't think that he'll be able to handle um, being president over the next few years. Okay, so let's just keep it 100. If you put somebody else in office, are you able to guarantee that they'll be able to um, be a, a president or hold the presidency for four years? Age has nothing to do with it. Nothing in life is guaranteed. Kamala is in her 60s or 60 years old, right? She's not guaranteed the next four years. 
No one is. You take life day by day. And when you say that you don't think that he could handle the next presidency and we need to put somebody in his place, what you're saying is you want to toss him aside. You want to kick him on out because he's old and you want to put somebody young and fresh in. That ain't the answer. And that's not who we voted for. If you wanted somebody young and fresh in the office, you should have prepped them up and you should have got them in there during the time before all of this started happening. You guys, it is too much. It's too much. We got congressmen got um, a, 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 um, a request on ready as soon as his um, 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 conversation ends with his, the people in the room. I'm asking him to sit up. We don't really care. We don't care. Who, it's not Because see, the thing about it is we're listening to our president. And he said he's staying in, get, me high, get behind me, and help us win this um, election. That's what you need to be doing. Keep your opinions and what matters to you to yourself. Because guess what? This ain't your pres this is not your election. This is the presidential election. And in order to make sure that we don't get this evil man in office, you guys opinion and you guys are on how you feel about Biden needs to stop because it really at the end of the day, it really does not matter how you feel. Let let's just be realistic. It really does not matter because most of you guys that are saying what you feel and how you feel. You've been feeling this way probably when he was a vice president. Everybody got haters. And if you're the president, you got big haters. But the problem is when your haters in your own camp keep coming over after you. And don't tell me they're not haters. Oh, these are people that support Biden. Let me tell you what support looks like. I'm behind Biden. Let's get to the polls and make this happen. Because my personal feelings don't matter. If we got one agenda, and that's to get this man back in office to keep Trump out, my personal feelings do not matter. And when you guys go on these tangents about, I feel that he needs to sit down, I feel that he can't handle it, how do you know what he can handle? You're talking about the man who just did everything he did in one week. Just blew the socks off of NATO. They are ultimately impressed by this man. They didn't care that he had a fluff up. The reason why it's being highlighted because you guys are highlighting it. Everybody else knows he's human. Because guess what? The problem is what you're highlighting about him, the average working person has experienced it. We all have experienced a lot, a human experience of a bad day, a bad situation. Had a conference call. The part of the conference that I was supposed to speak, I went blank. I didn't, I forgot what I was supposed to do. I didn't get my work turned in on time. Life happens. And because you guys have kept this on the highlight reel over and over again, we don't care what's rumbling in Congress because we know the president holds the cards. And we know that if he says he stand in, we're riding with Biden. We're riding with Biden. And it would be catastrophic if you were trying to go against someone that you should be supporting. So what you would be doing is you would be taking the eyes off of the person that we should be looking at and making it about you. These 15 days, it should have been ran over every lie that that man told on that debate stage should have been running on just repeat on all these news outlets. But you guys been sitting up talking about this man who had a, 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 a bad night, admitted he had a bad night, and has admitted 500 times that he, he's ne he was tired, he was exhausted, he had a cold. He ain't going nowhere. Let it go. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. We're riding with Biden. Let it go. And be meet us at the polls in November. Let it go. 
We're tired of it. We're tired of hearing about it. We don't want to hear about it anymore. We don't care who's asking somebody to jump, drop out. We don't care who's the next congressperson that's asking them to drop him to drop out. 92% people said, if he's running, we're voting for him. 92%. Let it go. We're riding with Biden. Let it go.